know, we just offensively didn't do a good enough job. Just wasn't good enough, you know, it's NFL football, so, you know, we obviously have a lot of work to do. Um, too many missed opportunities out there. I'm always ready for a nine and one? Yes. Do you feel like you're nine and one? Because the Sunday presser, that's not the Tom oh, no. Brady. No, but you don't have yeah. to apologize. You're frustrated. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So do you feel like you're nine and one? Yeah, I mean, I think I have to be authentic to how I feel about certain things. So Absolutely. I don't know what the expectation for emotions are when you play less than yeah. what you're capable of doing. So you can probably fake it and pretend like everything's great. Um, I don't think that's ever really been my style. A lot of people thought your press conference on Sunday was a plea for, hey, Gronk, let's go. You have till November 30th. Can you help me out? Any truth to that? No, I didn't. That's certainly not, not what that was it about. No, 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 definitely not. Okay. And I've spoken with Gronk a lot. And yeah. Gronk's very happy doing what he's doing. Which What's he doing? He's having fun. He's being <laughs> Gronk. But he hasn't said no. But whatever he chooses to do is his okay. choice. There's nothing I'm going to say or anyone could say to make someone want to do something that's so challenging. Right. You're saying yes to a lot of things. Yeah. So I'm happy he's happy. That's, I think, what, you know, how I really feel. We did sit down with Julian earlier this year, and I think one of the best parts was the back and forth with you guys. Nice ball! Nice ball! Baby. He said, though, that he has to get the extra digs in with you because the younger guys are just too afraid to razz you. Yeah. You're too old! Hey, get him ready, Tom. Get him going! Right. Which I really like I because a lot of young players, they come in, they've been watching me for 20 years, and they're mm -hmm. like, stop, stop, Brady. You know, and but I'm like, so guys, good about um, breaking that I know, but, well, I feel like I'm here to help you and yeah. you're here to help me. And yeah. so I think part of it is when you have the older guys like Jules, Go now. Let's get one. it's great, you know, for me, because I can feel like I can be myself without feeling like I'm a coach, because I'm not a coach, I'm a player. The ball doesn't care how old I am. What we deal with that ball and how it moves down the field is going to be the success of our team, not the age of our team, the experience of the team, the youth of the team. It's what we actually do with that. Another hot topic the media had a good time with this year. You're basically on a one-year deal, and I know you want to focus on this season, but it's hard not to look ahead. Could you really envision yourself in a different uniform next year? I don't think it's hard for me, you know, to be in the present. You okay. know, I do think a lot of people want to make predictions. Yeah, I want to know. know. I know, but I, I think the reality is there is no prediction. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always said I have a plan to play longer. Yeah. And I'll let the, you know, I'll figure that out when the time comes. Would you get a little bit of gratification from proving the doubters wrong? It's clockwork. Oh, he's too old. The arm's not there. Wouldn't you love just a little bit to be like, watch me? 45, yeah. maybe 46. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to do that. I definitely think there's an mm -hmm. inspirational element to that. There's just different challenges. There was challenges when I was young, there's challenges now. And I mm -hmm. think just understanding what those are and whether you want to face them or overcome them or take them on, those are, you know, those are healthy things and healthy decisions to have. And when the time's right, you know, make a decision.